Welcome to another video by WA Courses. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at two functions that are extremely useful, and those are count and count A in Excel. Now, right here, we have a spreadsheet with lots of records. What is a record? Each row of information, of data, is called a record. So there are many records in this spreadsheet. Now, I would like to know exactly how many records there are. So I could keep scrolling down and scrolling until I get to the end, to my last record. Or if my spreadsheet were much longer, this would be quite hard to do. So. Let's look at another way to count how many records there are in my spreadsheet. Let's click into an empty cell, let's say right here, and set up a formula using the function count to help us count how many records we have in our spreadsheet. The first thing I'm going to do is hit the equals button on the keyboard. Now type in count, left parenthesis, and now I have to insert what I want to count. So let's say I want it to count the total number of records that have purchases. So I'll just click on column D, select it, and you can see here on the right that it puts D through D, which means the entire D column. Now I should close the parenthesis, but you don't really need to. Now tap enter on the keyboard. And it tells me that I have 136 records in this spreadsheet. Now let's check and see if that's correct. Well, here I have 137 rows. And my first row is not data. So right here, the first row does not contain a number which means I do have 136 records with purchases. So the function count basically will count records that include numbers, not text. Now let's try and confirm this. Again, equals count parenthesis, this time, let's choose column A. And enter. You see now, zero records. Because column A contains surnames, not numbers. So the count function showed up zero records. There is another function that I could use for non-numerical data and that is count A. So let's delete this. Equals, type in count A, parenthesis. Let's select column A again and hit enter 137. 137, and because of course this counts text, it has also included my title. So 137 records in column A. Okay, let's delete these and take a quick look at something else. Let's, for example, select column D. Now, down here is the status bar. When I select cells, the status bar gives me specific information. 
So it gives me the count. Count 137. Count A, not count, count A. It also comes up with the sum of the numbers in this column. So the total sum is 191,077. It also gives me an average, 1,404.9. So the status bar can come in handy because it saves us from writing certain functions like the sum and the count, the average. Let's pick another column. Let's pick column A. Now, because it's not numerical, it only gives me a count, a count of records, because it can't give me a sum, of course, and it can't give me an average. That was the end of this tutorial. Thank you for watching.